What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest evolution XROM this is the 5.2 version let me actually show you the about section so here is how it looks like in the Android version section we have the evolution X logo up top there and the Android version is of course Android 11 still and let me go back we have the evolution X version 5.2 and it says Emerald official build the security patch is latest of December 5th, 2020 because this is the 10th December 2020 build and the build maintainer is of course Joe Huab and the stock kernel is PUBG kernel and today in this video I'm going to be showing you all the changes that are there in this particular build but before that let me talk about some things that the ANX camera and the Google camera go both are right now here as you can see the ANX camera is there yes the portrait mode does not work and you can go to more and you can go to edit then you can like simply pull it down so that the portrait mode simply does not show up in the ANX camera that way it will be better I guess so yeah I do that because I don't need the portrait mode either so this ANX camera works with all the lenses without any issues as you are noticing and even with video settings and stuff you can have it as you can see the 4k 60 fps video recording is there so you can use that of course and the Google Camera Go is still there. Let me actually show you. I did not even open it. Here, as you can see, the Google Camera Go does like work super fine without any issues. Let me switch to the front camera. There is also this like face beautify kind of mode if you want that. But yeah, this Google Camera Go and the ANX camera both are there by default. And you can of course install any Google Camera Unix version or something if you want to have those, of course. So yeah, they work super fine. You can use the night set if you want the Unix version. You can click on the card right there, of course, as usual. Now, let me talk about what's new. So if you go into the settings and system panel here to this front camera sound effects, here you will find three new options, which are the Star Wars Imperial March, Star Wars Lightsaber, and Star Wars Throne. And this is how it sounds like when opening the front camera. I personally liked the first one which is the Star Wars Imperial March sound. Next thing is the accent color and here you will see the midnight purple color I think and if you scroll down let me actually show you. As you can see this midnight purple color has been added and it looks kind of dark and looks pretty cool I would say. If you are noticing the quick toggles it looks kind of black but it is not quite black it is actually a midnight purple color actually enable the dark theme and this is how it looks like in the dark theme if you notice from up close and Google Sans font has been added over here too and this is how it looks like of course I think it was removed earlier so right now the Google Sans font is there if you want to use that and inside power menu as you can see there are like the power off advanced options and over here this is how it looks like and this is how the battery panel looks like looks a little bit weird I would say as you can see because you have to scroll like to the bottom like this the scrolling part has been increased I would say and these are kind of like the groups there are smart charging battery info so the smart charging has been added back over here if you want to use the smart charging you can right now and if you are using the status bar battery percentage over here next to the icon there is also this inside the icon and in the change logs there is written that the like batteries inside the icon has been kind of changed but I don't know it's it looks really really small still but yeah it might have been changed a little bit to look better. Also in the lock screen settings we have this fingerprint icon still of course and you can choose from these many icons they were like there in the previous build also but here you can change right now the fingerprint pressed color this is the color which like appears over here on the fingerprint scanner that color you can change from here and you can choose it from white cyan green yellow etc options and by default it is set to cyan i guess and there is also this disable night light when showing fingerprint on display option so that's cool and this like the animation of the scanning in the bracket as you can see it's written right now cyberpunk 2077 so you will actually find it easier to set this scanning or cyberpunk 2077 fingerprint scanner option and with this let me actually show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now from the always on display as you can see the animation I, I would say used to like be a little bit dimmer but right now even from the always on display the animation really like is poppy in the colors as you are noticing let me actually show you from up close earlier it was not that colorful 
right now it is really really colorful and it unlocks pretty much the same way and it unlocks very very fast no issues with that there is this delay option in the gestures of the customizations this is for the screenshot delay as you can see and in the AOSP settings there is the swipe to screenshot of course and right now if I set this delay to like let's assume 500 ms so if I just swipe like this I think it takes the screenshot a little bit later so yeah you can adjust this delay I can have it on zero and this is how fast it is I don't know if it's I still feel this is like the same kind of thing but yeah, I don't know the delay option has been added you can adjust it but I am not really sure maybe 500 ms I cannot differentiate between that I do not know but yeah there is the option for that if you want screenshot delay you can enable and like increase it how much you want and this option in the miscellaneous settings this is the launch music app on headset connect and this was removed earlier i guess right now this has been added back so if you turn it on the default music player whatever you are using whenever you plug in your headset it will launch that particular app whenever you connect your headset now in the lock screen one thing i would say in this latest build that is not present this force fingerprint authentication this is just present because i updated from the previous rom and that is why it is present but this is actually not working even though i turn it on or off it does not matter this force fingerprint authentication has been disabled after this latest update and the, with the december security patch it has been removed from the latest build so you won't really find this option whenever you are flashing so that's how it is but right now i have this option because i updated from the previous rom so it stays kind of I mean the option stays but it does not work anymore so yeah we lost the always unlock fingerprint scanner with the latest build so if you are someone who worries about that and you really love that feature maybe stick with the previous builds but right now the force fingerprint or always unlock with the fingerprint scanner is removed and I think the partial screenshot kind of thing was here or it was somewhere over in the gestures but that feature is not anymore there you cannot take partial screenshot this is just a like normal taking screenshot you can share them edit or delete them right from here and this feature has been added in the gesture settings if you are using the android 11 full screen gestures you can disable this back gesture animation like this back arrow over here which you are noticing that won't appear right now as you can see it goes back but that arrow does not appear as you are noticing so you can have this if you want to for some reason now stock launcher is still the pixel launcher and that there is like nothing different over here the wallpaper i am using is of a starship rendering of the like raptor engines from the bottom so yeah if you want to have this wallpaper you will get it in the like, description box below do not worry and to the left we still have this google's discover page and swiping down gets you to the notification or quick settings panel and here let me actually show you there is the like Android 11 screen recorder with which you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time or the system audio and the microphone audio at the same time that feature is there there is also this oxygen OS kind of screen recorder let me show you if I agree and go to the settings as you can see you can change the resolution and stuff then the bit rate the number of frames etc you can change those audio source you can change that to internal or normal mic but this does not have that like both audio recording at the same time feature and let me show you there is the FPS counter too so you can have it as you can see the fps does appear on the like left side left top over here so yeah these kind of things are still there without any issues they are working fine and if you want to know about the performance of course evolution x's performance has been really great and here this is no different here are the android and geekbench score and by the way while daily driving i did not find any issues over here vault e calls via wi-fi both are working fine talking about the drm info here if i scroll down as you can see the wide band security level shows as l1 so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p without any issues and of course it still passes the safety net test right out of the box so that means you can use google pay or any other such banking apps right out of the box you do not need magic sky to use banking apps over here on this rom right now let me just open a couple of apps and if you still want to see the like app opening of speed and the ram management here it is let me show you one by one now let's open youtube instagram now let's also open twitter okay i opened twitter already google home Right now, what else should I open? Maybe Flipkart. Right now, let's open this MeFit app too. So yeah, let me open all these apps from memory again. 
Twitter still in memory, Play Store is in memory, this files app is in memory, YouTube still in memory, Instagram is in memory, Google Home still in memory, Play Store is in memory. Now let's open Flipkart. So as you can see, all the apps are in memory. No issues like so far with the memory management either. Now in terms of the battery life, as you can see from the screenshots, I got about more than eight plus hours of screen on time and that is great battery life in my personal opinion. And even while like idle drain and stuff, I would say it is really less like very efficient battery backup over here that I'm getting. And the 18 watt fast charging of course does work super fine. And you can still swipe from the corners to get the Google Assistant as you can see and there is this kind of animation as you can see. Looks very beautiful in my opinion. Let me show you one more time. And as you can see this kind of animation if you're noticing the bottom it detects everything what you're saying and it shows this kind of colorful look over here. So yeah this looks really really awesome in my opinion. So that wraps up this video guys about the Evolution X5.2 10th December 2020 build on the Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.